that's a hydrogen oxygen balloon dropped from five feet. It doesn't look like much on video, but when you hear it in person, it's very loud. Today, I'm building a simple impact ignition system for these balloons. The goal, eventually drop a water bottle filled with hydrogen and oxygen from an RC plane and have it explode on impact. Hey everyone, welcome back to Flames and Stuff. I'm back in my hometown for the summer with some old friends and we wanted to mess around with something loud and a bit explosive. We've already built an electrolysis chamber in a previous video, I'll put the link up there in the corner, so we figured let's make something that goes bang with hydrogen and oxygen when it hits the ground. We started simple. We needed a container to hold the gas and a way to ignite it on impact. Plastic water bottles were our first idea as they are cheap and can hold some pressure. We decided on testing everything with balloons first as this would make the testing quieter and less dangerous. The big question was how do we actually light this thing when it hits the ground? We thought about using fuses or percussion caps but settled on a piezoelectric igniter. Like the kind you find in a barbecue or a barbecue lighter. It's good because it doesn't need batteries and it makes a clean spark that is made to ignite gas, albeit propane, but it should work for hydrogen too. And it is also reusable. One thing we had to change about the spark plug though is that normally the igniter sparks to the metal in the barbecue, um, but since we're using plastic, we have to bridge the two leads with a short wire. Um, but once we did that, it worked perfectly. So now for the mechanism I built. It has three parts, a main body that everything goes onto, a variable sleeve which goes into the main body and allows for different containers to be attached, i.e. balloons or differently threaded bottles, and a cap that preloads the spring. Then we can screw this on to the bottle. Then we can put this on. this and finish it off with the cap. What's cool is that the cap has a safe position and an arm position so that it doesn't accidentally go off if you drop it. I should be able to hit it, drop it, doesn't do anything, but if I would to turn it to the arm position and let it drop, it clicks, and it's used. We first tested the contraption with balloons dropped from shoulder height. It works pretty well as the spark lights the HHO mixture every time. In order to connect the balloons to the mechanism, we just swapped out the threaded sleeve for a balloon attachment. We then proceeded to try throwing the contraption. With these last few tests working well, we decided to move on to igniting bottles. First, we built an attachment to feed the gas mixture from the electrolysis chamber into empty bottles, aiming to fill them with pure HHO. Then after filling a bottle, we did a quick cap switch to a regular bottle cap, and then later to our ignition mechanism. Okay, I don't know how effective that was. Um, the hydrogen or oxygen went out and nitrogen went in, but uh, let's hope we still got something in here. We also noticed that the bottles weren't landing in the right orientation, so we added some paper to the back of them to help them fall correctly. All right, and now for the big test. So, as you can see, the bottle did not ignite. So we think that too much of the HHO might have escaped while switching the caps, or that just isn't enough pressure for ignition in the bottle. Um, so that's sadly it for part one. Uh, I have to head back to campus, so I won't be able to work on this for a little bit, but I'll pick it back up when I can. 
we're gonna troubleshoot what needs approving and then we're gonna follow up with another video so if you have any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments and as always thanks for watching flame out